Hi everyone, it's Paula from PSE and Creations. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back if you are returning. Uh, today's video is a flip through of three Halloween themed junk journals that I made. Um, they are similar, but different. Um, I will do a quick flip through of each one and um, these will be posted, actually already posted on my Whatnot Market. Um, so in the description, there'll be a link that will take you to the journals. And if you're new to Whatnot, there'll also be a link that if you want to sign up for Whatnot, which the sign up is absolutely free, um, you can get a $10 credit to go towards your very first purchase on Whatnot. Doesn't have to be a purchase made at my shop or one of my shows or auctions. Um, it can be used anywhere on Whatnot, on any show, any auction, any market item. Um, when you purchase, you do your first purchase and I also get a $10 credit so that I can make my own purchases, which I do <laughs> on whatnot. So anyways, let's go ahead and go through, um, these, uh, three Halloween themed junk journals. They are soft covers, fabric on the front and the back or the inside of the cover, um, single signature, as I mentioned, they all have a detachable tassel. Each tassel has a charm. So this one is a little kitty and uh, the closures are all the same. It's just a ribbon that can be detached. It's not attached at all. And they each have little dangle charms that are tied to the um, wax string that I use to bind the, the signature in the journal. So this one I'm calling the purple ghost pumpkin witch <laughs> because it has a witch ghost pumpkin. Oh, it has a cat too, but, and it's primary color is purple. Uh, this one is nine and a half by six and a half. So this is the only one that's slightly taller because I measured incorrectly. So, uh, that's why this one is uh, half an inch taller actually, uh, than the others. So soft cover, as I mentioned, fabric on the outside of the cover, fabric on the inside of the cover. And this one has front and back total of 80 pages, 80 pages front and back. Um, so let's go through it real quick. So this right here is just a vinyl pumpkin that's on the fabric. Let's say you can remove it if you choose to, but it shouldn't just come off on its own. Paper doily that's been dyed. It's purple. Um, I don't know if it's being washed out. So the tag is uh, the either the front or the back of a Halloween book cover. So I have coffee dyed paper in here, tea dyed paper, food dyed paper. Um, as well as some um, vintage Halloween book pages. So this is just a cardstock that's been punched um, so that you can use as a journaling card and a little witch sticker that you can either add to this or add anywhere else on with a little paper clip here. This is bordered paper that's been coffee dyed. So it's Halloween bordered paper. And the back side is just blank. Um, vintage dictionary paper and a journaling card that I made. And this is just one of those junk mail pockets that I like to add to all my journals. A little bit of crepe paper that's just been glued on here to add a little bit of a ruffle effect. Uh, this is a vintage, one of the vintage um, Halloween books pages. So they're all different pages of different Halloween books and they have been copy dyed or either copy dyed or tea dyed. It's actually orange sheet of paper. I don't know if you can tell the difference in the camera or not. This is another book page with a little fabric ruffle here. Uh, the music sheets. And then I use a coffee filter to make a uptuck. So the uptuck is on both sides and just decorated them with a little vinyl bat with a little um, cardstock in the back of it. 
And then this one is a sticker with some crep paper. Two journaling cards. This is just a paper clip with a little bit of black fabric on it. This is one journaling card here. and the other journaling card. So I did make all the journaling cards. I did do a video that should be out on showing me making actually, I think two, at least two of these journaling cards. So look for that if you're interested, I will link it. This is black. Uh, just black dyed paper. This paper I did not dye myself. I actually purchased it from an Etsy shop years ago. Copy filter. Um, this is ledger paper, but newer ledger paper unused. And then this is just cardstock that's been stamped on the corners. And then I just added a little potion number 31 that I stamped on the little piece of paper and then glued on there. This is one of the books. Six Creepy Sheep. And it just folds out. I didn't want to destroy the page itself completely. This is another dictionary page but a, from the 60s. The other one was from the 30s. Uh, you can see a huge color difference. You can see that. But this is part of a Halloween book as well. I think it was the back part of it. So I didn't want to waste the spooky trees. I thought it looked cool. So I just sewed it on here and made a side tuck. And this is um, the cover or the back of a Halloween book as well. And I made it just into a journaling tag. Another sheet of that bordered Halloween paper. This is food dyed paper. It's purple. This is typewriter paper. It's much thinner then regular coffee paper. This is the middle of the signature. This is another book. And so, and here are your dangles. As I mentioned, you can remove these if you wanted to, but they just hang there and they don't bother anyone. Look at that page. Isn't that cool? All right. This is a book page. Actually, it's multiple book pages folded and then sewed. And then I did a little bit of stamping. And I thought it was really cool just to cross out every other word. And then these are just two little cards um, that I thought fit nicely in there. A little bit of fabric ruffle. Just a little mixed media on this page with some gesso and stamping. Some lined paper that's been copy dyed typewriter paper. This is the other side of the book page. And here's another one of those um, junk mail pockets that I make. And then this is another journaling card that I made. And we're getting towards the end. Another piece of the book page. A different book again, like I mentioned. Here's another one. And this is just a coffee filter that I sewed on. And I just added a little sticker right there. So you have two pockets. Because I just folded it over the end of the page and then sewed it on. So that's the sticker for that one. And then that's the sticker for this one. And then I just added a... It was a castle. I know not all castles are dark and scary. Um... But it's a postcard from Barcelona, Spain. It's unused. And then the other side is also a postcard from Barcelona, Spain as well. And this is again, have like a, the brick. And it's a gentleman that's a uh, glass blowing. Uh, unused again from Barcelona postcard. And that is it. That's the end of the journal itself. Uh, I can show you the, the tassel is detachable. There is an eyelet right there. And here is the tassel. Just a bunch of fabric ribbon and lace. It is nine inches in length. And like I said, there is a charm on each one. This has a black cat. 
So again, this is the purple ghost pumpkin witch. It measures nine and a half by six and a half. Single signature fabric, soft cover. All right, the second one is orange patchwork is what I'm calling the second one. So this is orange patchwork. This one measures nine by six and a half. Again, it has the tassel and the charm on this tassel is this spider here. And the tassel is detachable, just like the other one. It has an eyelet. And it does have charms at the bottom. And the closure, again, is the same. Um, ribbon as the previous one. This one is again soft. You can hear um, soft cover, single signature, fabric on the outside, fabric on the inside. This one has a vinyl bat, purple bat, and this one has a total of 80 pages front and back as well. So you have your coffee filter, you have different book pages just like the other one. You have food dyed paper. This is just a one of the ledgers, newer ledgers unused. I just did a corner tuck here with a little piece of fabric that's candy corn fabric. Happy, our Halloween party. And then this is just a, a purple butterfly and I added some pages on the inside so that it's like a little journaling booklet. Here's another of that Halloween bordered paper book pages, typewriter paper that's been coffee or tea dyed. Here's one of my junk mail pockets. And then a journaling card that I made. All right. This is from the same book. This is six sheep. I'm sorry, six creepy sheep. And this was from Melbury, Mulberry, sorry, school in Los Gatos, California. So this is actually 1992. So printed in the United States of America, October, 1993. This is just another piece of cardstock that's been punched. And then a little sticker, a little paper clip with some black ribbon on it. You can do as you would like with it. Uh, this is another one of those, uh, the back of the book. This one has the tree with witches in the tree. I don't know if you can see them. And then I just made it into a side pocket sewed it around dictionary page with two postcards from Barcelona. They are unused, both of them. But again, I think I was going with like the castle themed. Thought it went well. This is just a decorated page. It's the other side of the dictionary page. Some lined copy dyed paper, another piece of that black paper. This is a book page. Here's one of those little pockets again that I made. And then two little cards that go in with it. This is just a piece of uh, brown packing paper that you get in packages. And then this is crepe paper made into a little, I guess, circle. And then I just added this little sticker to it because I thought it looked cute. This is the middle of the signature. And you have your book page. And here is your little dingles. Oh, they're trying to hide. All right. 
And these are just the other pages that you've seen already. <laughs> lots of journaling space, guys. Lots of journaling space and lots of space for you to add more decorations of your own on here. Here's another one of those little junk journal pockets. Sorry, junk mail pockets that I make. And I just used the crepe paper to make the black ruffle again over here. And then here's this journaling card. The page. This is just another decorated page using a napkin, Halloween napkin, a little ruffle with a little washi tape down here. Here's one of the book pages, the other side of it. And this side says, Happy Halloween. Cool. And this is the, instead of doing the uptuck with the coffee filter, I did just pockets at the bottom. So you have this one right here, just stamped boo, and then just a little sticker there. And then the other side just says, Happy Halloween and that sticker so this side just has it's vellum paper um, with a index card that's been spritzed i think with food coloring and then i also thought that this was cool pumpkin parfait square dessert pudding and ice cream so this is a recipe card from a little i think a 1980s recipe um little book storage thing anyways i thought it i thought it went well <laughs> and then on this side of it it's just a purple food dyed paper that's been stamped on the corner just to give it a little bit of design and it's just a little fold out where you can add some additional notes more book page copy dyed paper this is the actual, this is the back of the Halloween bordered paper. Let me know if you remember what these used to be used for. These used to be really big, I think in the maybe late 80s, early 90s, maybe even mid 90s, where people would use this type where it was bordered. There used to be ones, oh, maybe for like announcements and invitations and stuff. That's what they would use this for. Anyways, this is the ledger paper. Again, newer day's ledger paper unused and that's the end of it and then the back of it it's just a little fabric kitty square on some orange thick cardstock and you can actually tuck something here if you wanted to um, let me see if i have something here if you wanted to tuck something you can tuck something there Maybe I'll tuck something additional. So that's orange patchwork. And then the very last one that I have to show in this flip through video that I am trying to make go quick is colorful trick or treat is what I'm calling it. So this is colorful trick or treat. Again, you have your nine inch detachable dangle. The charm on this one is this bat and again it does detach there's your eyelet where you can just take it right off i'm not going to take it off but here are your dangles and same closure it just opens right up fabric soft cover, single signature, fabric on the inside. This one does not have anything on the inside, so you can do whatever you'd like as far as decorating on the inside. But we have a paper doily that's been dyed, food dyed paper, another book page from that same cool book that we were had in the other ones. Um, junk mailer pocket. 
with uh, again the black crepe paper as a ruffle and then I just added a little bit of washi tape there to just add a little bit extra. I did make this one into a tag so I have a little bit of ribbon up here and then this is this tag with the bats on the haunted house. And then this is just the little vinyl bat. Lots of room in here to make this your own. This is that copy, I mean, that black paper that I said um, I purchased off of a shop on Etsy a few years ago. Typewriter paper that's been copy or tea dyed. That yeah, bordered Halloween paper. Here's another of that book page. Oh, can you guys see? He's spitting out like, it looks like slime or something. I thought it was that somebody wrote something, but no, that's that's not. Here's Drac just taking a nap in the bathtub. This is just a little side tuck or a corner tuck right here. Just a cute little vintage inspired image. And this is just orange um, cardstock that's been stamped on the corners. Here's that ledger paper, coffee dyed paper, um, coffee filter. <laughs> uh, and then this is just a vintage dictionary page and I added this image to it because I just thought that he was cool looking. He was in one of the books and I cut him out because I just thought he was cool looking. Now this page is reinforced because this dictionary paper is from the 30s and some pages seem to be stronger than others. So it's just reinforced with a little bit of washi tape right here. But now on the other side of it is just a little journaling card or you can make this a, a little side tuck if you wanted to as well. Just glue it or sew it. And this is a piece of fabric actually that's been glued on to this cardstock paper clip. Another book page, a little fabric ruffle. So it's black fabric with uh, sewn with orange. just copy dyed line paper, this typewriter paper. You can tell the difference between typewriter paper and construction paper because typewriter paper is much lighter if you weren't of the error of typewriter paper. <laughs> um, obviously, just uh, packing paper, brown packing paper. I think this is avocado dyed paper, actually. Construction, um, avocado copy paper. All right, here's another little junk mail pocket. This time I used purple crepe paper with a little rick rack. These girls are ready to go farming and that's great because I have a little bit of corn with a crow on this journaling card. And then a purple vinyl bat. Glitter vinyl bat. But the glitter doesn't come off. Now this page was from the same page as this guy was. Because he's supposed to be a scarecrow. I don't know. I don't make the rules. I just... This is old music sheet paper. Copy paper. Here's the middle of the signature with this book page. And then here are your your dangles. So they are separate, but they're just like intertwined with each other. Okay, there well. Here are your dangles. <laughs> this is just a piece of uh, paper to write notes on. And then I just closed it with a little bit of um, embroidery thread, little sticker down here, and then glued the middle of it down so you can write additional little secret notes and then fold it back up so nobody can see it and tie it on up. A little bit of washi tape on that. The book page. 
lots of space for you to do your own thing. Here's a little Halloween sticker and a little cardstock that's been stamped. You can make that a journaling card. You can make that a pocket. You can do what you would like. Just added a few things to this page. And then the vinyl sticker coffee filter. These coffee filters have been used. So these were actual coffee filters that I used in my coffee machine. And then I saved the filter after I rinsed it off. Just because I rinsed it off doesn't mean that I got all the coffee off of it. I'm just saying. Here's Dracula's other half. We saw him sleeping in the bathtub with the little spider right there. This is a typewriter paper. This is a, a sheet of paper that's uh, lined paper that's dyed orange and then it just folds out. There's a little sticker there and happy Halloween stamp. So another little spot for you to journal in and add your little secrets. And another little vinyl pumpkin. A book that flips out the page. And that's it. That's the end of this third and final colorful trick or treat junk journal book. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And again, if you are interested in any of these, they are available in my whatnot market currently. And the link to the market is in the description box below. I appreciate you guys watching. And if you haven't subscribed and like these type of videos and some tutorials and just in general other things that I might have on my channel. Uh, hopefully you consider subscribing. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Bye.